Hundreds of irate Muslims just caused major airline to ground 222 flights for disgusting reason. Trump is pissed and he's vowing to take action by Liberty Bell for Freedom Daily. Over the last several years, Muslim refugees and migrants have flooded into Europe causing mass chaos and destruction. The once beautiful and historic area has changed from a must-see tourist destination to a terrorist breeding ground with no end in sight. Politicians in these liberal countries have continued to allow these Muslim migrants to flood over their borders even though their countries cannot handle it anymore. Also, if leaders in European countries try to put a stop to the mass influx of Muslim refugees, they are met with riots and protests from the lunatic left. And that is what has happened after thousands of asylum seekers in Germany told, were told to pack their bags and head home to the Middle East. <laughs> It is no secret that Germany is in quite the pickle after allowing thousands of Muslim refugees to flood into their country in their effort to appear tolerant and accepting of these third world leeches. Their nation has become a cesspool of violence and is now bankrupt. We have seen that terrorist attacks are on the rise as well as rape, theft and burglary while the German people are left defenseless. Finally, after years of allowing this lunacy to happen, the German government is beginning to deny migrants applying for asylum and deporting them back to their country. However, if you thought that this would be a welcome policy, <laughs> you would be wrong. As it turns out, many German pilots are refusing to fly <laughs> these deported Muslims back to the Middle East claiming that their lives are in jeopardy. And instead of the airline's uh, upper manage, uh, management firing these insubordinate pilots, they allow them to stay on the payroll and costing the companies millions of dollars. Here is more from Independent. German pilots have reportedly grounded more than 200 flights after refusing to be involved in the deportations of failed asylum seekers. Flight crews said they did not want to participate in sending people back to Afghanistan where violence is still rife following years of war and occupation by Western forces. Between January and September, 20, 222 flights were canceled according to German government figures, with most uh, 140 coming at Frankfurt for airport. German media reported that 85 of the disrupted flights were on Lufthansa and its subsidiary Eurowings. Germany has been a popular destination for people arri arriving from abroad. Chancellor Angela Merkel adopted permissive, uh, a permissive stance to migration at the height of the recent crisis and in 2015 some 1.5 million people entered Germany of which a third had come from living another in another UE country. According to Die Welt cited by US Today, Germany's Federal Office for Migration and Refugees Decla uh, decided more than 388,000 asylum cases in the first half of this year. At least one similar refusal is known to have taken place in the UK when British Airways pilot refused to take off while Samim Bigzad was on board earlier this year. Mr. Bigzad, an Afghan, faced deportation to the city where the Taliban had threatened to kill him before the pilot intervened saying, you're not going to take him, I'm not flying, someone's life is at risk. Well, isn't that special of these bleeding heart pilots, right? At any rate, in an effort to make the journey back to Afghanistan more appealing, the German government is now offering to pay these failed asylum seekers taxpayer money 
to voluntarily return home. Here is more from uh, Daily Sabah. The German government is offering up to 3,000 euros, $3,700 in financial aid if they opt to return to their countries of origin voluntarily. Germany's Interior Ministry said this past Sunday confirming reports about a new government program. Families returning home can apply for goods and services worth up to 3,000 euros, while individuals can receive goods and services worth 1,000 euros in their home country. The ministry said adding that the new benefits were an extension of an existing support program launched in February. The German government is trying to incentivize voluntary departures by failed asylum seekers as the country deals with an influx or just below one million migrants that arrived from countries including Syria, Afghanistan, and Iraq in 2015 and 2016. If you decide in favor of voluntary departure by the end of February, you can get not only uh, startup assistance, but also housing cost assistance for the first year in your country of origin. Interior Minister Thomas de Maziere uh, was quoted as saying by mass circulation newspaper build, which had the initial report. While it is excellent the German government is now doing something about their Muslim migrant issue, it may be a little too late. For the past several years, the compassionate left have been banging in everyone's head that turning away these poor, quote, and defenseless, quote, migrants was wrong. So now the government realizes they can't afford to house and feed these migrants, so they need to start sending them back. However, that will be an issue uh, since an entire generation has been taught something different, right? The only way this will stop for Germany and other surrounding countries is for the leadership to take a stand and force these leeches out despite how liberals feel. Then they will be able to get their country back on track and hopefully economically as well. Well, this is very interesting. This is very interesting. And uh, let's see what takes place, but oh well. Uh, this is what they wanted, and this is what the left wants America to be like. Who's paying for these people? The taxpayers are paying for these people on your dime, and you're also being told to abide. They want Sharia law in your land? I mean, give me a break. This has got to stop. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and again, thank you so much for watching.